Hello and welcome to the Persistently Non-Political Podcast Special from the Mr. Brown Show. Today we explore fictional opposition parties attempt to break the world record for being sued by another party as early as possible. We speak to their spokesman. We were sued in the middle of the hustings last election. This year, this we year, have outdone ourselves by being sued even before, before nomination, nomination day. day. We, we believe in outdoing ourselves. Excellence is what we strive for. We want 100% liability. <laughs> liability for Singaporeans. Today, we interview some opposition party members on their response to the ban on podcasting being used as a campaign tool during the Singapore elections. Let me ask you this question. What is a podcast? Nobody told us what is a podcast. We are being kept in the dark. We are being oppressed. That's right. This is obviously an attempt by the ruling party to stop us from knowing what a podcast is. And then now they are banning something that we do not even know what it is. It is obviously a conspiracy to stop us from using tools of broadcasting to reach the masses. It is frustrating to be banned from something we do not understand. This is wrong. I'm going to complain to Amnesty International. Reporters without borders. Thank you. <laughs> is it like a Walkman or like tape? We spoke to Reporters Without Borders about this travesty of freedom. Ah, don't bother me lah. Thank you. And now we speak to a foreign permanent resident about his response to the election. What do you feel about the election? Thank you. And so ends our persistently non-political podcast minute from The Mr. Brown Show. Yes, goodbye. Welcome to another edition of the Persistently Non-Political Podcast from the Mr. Brown Show, Episode 2. Today, we talk to Jujet resident, Mr. Tan, about his thoughts on the sleaze that is found in his estate, Jujet. According to news reports, three, four years ago, there were more than 10 massage parlors along that street. But since the cleanup by the police, it has uh, gone down to less than three. What do you feel about that, uh, Mr. Tan? Yes. Uh, do you speak English? So, do you feel that uh, there has been a marked reduction in the number of uh, massage parlors in this area? And what do you think the uh, winning party should do if they were to get the mandate to run uh, scrap. Yes, yes. So uh, to clean up the sleeves, what you're saying is we need to get rid of the ugliness that uh, walks the streets of Juchet and just leave the better looking women, foreign talent uh, in Juchet. Okay. What you're saying is uh, that they should get rid of the ugly girls along the street. Is that it? Mm, no. Okay. Is uh, okay all you can say? Plan. Thank you. And that was Mr. Tan, a uh, resident in Juchet. Incumbent MP for Juchet says, We can have a vibrant Juchet without the sleaze. And truly, they have attempted to clean up Juchet. We've gone through great lengths, great risk to ourselves to record the actual sounds of the sleaze being cleaned up in Juchet itself. And this is Mr. Brown for the persistently non-political podcast from the Mr. Brown Show.
Mortals of Greece, this is your god Zeus talking. Yes, yes, okay, stop running away. I'm not gonna throw the lightning at you. Come back, come back. Okay, I just wanna announce that some changes gonna be happening. But we don't want to. Who said that? We're afraid. Who said? Who's afraid? Did he say he's afraid? Sorry, sometimes I forget myself. Yes, yes. This is Apollo's first uh, great major spring festival. And I want you guys to give him your support. Declaration of faith in his track record. I'm not trying to force you or anything. Yes, I know. The lightning bolt can come down from my hand anytime. When I do this pointing thing. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to point at you. You know that uh, Apollo wasn't always uh, looking after the, the sun, but uh, Helios gave up his seat for my son, Apollo. Appreciate that. Thank you, Helios. Now, I'm not asking for you mortals to uh, support us, you know, in this time of transition you know, by force. I, I, I think you guys should have a right to choose, but uh, if you don't support us and give us your sacrifices. Your area might have, you know, less rain next year. I mean, I tried to do my best, but I gotta give priority to the guys among you that are willing to support us wholeheartedly. So the rains will go to those that will support us. And uh, natural disasters, you know, it's hard, hard to uh, keep an eye on all the natural disasters. I try my best, but again, uh, priority will go to some of the uh, uh, supportive ones among you, the faithful, yes. So you can go ahead and uh, look for your other pagan gods that have been uh, trying to woo you, but I ask you to just judge them on their track record. And you know, these pagan gods just show up last minute, every time there's the festival and try to win your hearts and your minds. Uh, and uh, they promise you lots of stuff, but they're not first world uh, deities. They, they are not first world. Uh, we are the first world deities, right? We've been around and uh, most of us wear white. It looks grand, but some of the guys have been trying to woo you mortals. I can see that uh, they're not taking this whole God thing seriously. Yes, uh, they will promise you this and that and to grant all your wishes and, you know, make your lands prosper and the soil strong, but uh, whether they have the power to do that, whether they have the resources to tap, I mean, you know, we have resources here that we can tap. We'll send rain, good harvests, military victories, and whatever public blessings you desire. We take care of that. You give us your uh, eternal faith and worship. So that's how it works, right? I'm, I'm working on introducing new gods. I know the 12 of us have been in charge for the longest time and we are talking about renewal here. We, we do want to introduce new gods. I introduced a couple the other day, three of them, but we're not going to do this too quickly. We have a very strict vetting uh, criteria for our gods here, you know that. And uh, you don't want to be worshipping anyone that is not uh, up to the standard that we set for ourselves over here in Mount Olympus. And I'd also like to introduce you to uh, Hermes. He's been doing all the messages so far, you know, delivering the messages. He's going to be doing a lot more in, in, in the towns he's taking over. There's one particular town we are concerned about and they may be missing out on the blessings that we give out to our worshippers. And Hermes has been tasked to go there and uh, see what he can do to win them over. Uh, Ares, smiter of the enemies of mine, will be accompanying Hermes. Nothing, don't worry about it, don't have any fear. Uh, he's just there to make sure nobody uh, harasses Hermes when he goes to that town to uh, engage in dialogue. So, don't worry about it. Ares will behave himself, right Ares? Yeah, good. Uh, but just remember, the Olympians are here for you. We loved a lot of you. Thank you. This is your God Zeus saying, have a good life.
Welcome to the Persistently Non-Political Podcast No. 4 by the Mr. Brown Show. We now go over to the press conference conducted by the sometimes hastily apologised Democratic Action Party, SHADUP, or SHADAP. According to the press release, the party will be sharing their manifesto with the press. This is the Secretary General of SHADAP reading from the manifesto. What have I got to do? To make you love me. What have I got to do to make you care? What do I do when lightning strikes me and I wake up to find that you're not there? Uh, do you believe your manifesto can help you win more votes this time? What do I do to make you want me? What have I got to do to be heard? What do I say when it's all over and sorry seems to be the hardest word? So what you're saying is that your party is prepared to apologise to the uh, minister for the alleged uh, slander in your recent publication. It's so sad, so sad. It's a sad, sad situation and it's getting more and more absurd. It's sad, so sad. Why can't we talk it over? So you're not going to apologise? Oh, it seems to me uh, that sorry seems to be the hardest word. So what is your position? What is your manifesto? What do I do to make you love me? What have I got to do to be heard? So you're going to apologise? What do I do when lightning strikes me? So you're not going to apologise? What have I got to do? What have I got to do when sorry seems to be the hardest word? And this has been a persistently non-political podcast from The Mr. Brown Show. The Mr. Brown Show is a production of mrbrown.com and miyagi.sg. This is the perpetually. This is the persistently. This is the persist. This is the persistently. No, persistently non. This is the police. This is the persistently non-political. Can someone please change the damn name of the show? It's so hard to pronounce. I can do it. I'm a scholar. I went to Paris Southern University. Shut up, you. To be intern. Oh. This is the persistently non-political podcast team reporting from Parliament. Addressing the Parliament is Prime Minister Lopez. The Prime Minister who recently got elected despite discrepancies with his submission of his forms on nomination day. If you recall, uh, he disputed the submission of his forms uh, and uh, claimed that he really did submit his forms, but CCTV revealed that he brought his forms home. Oh, what? I got submit. You saw me fill up the form, right? I was there. I submitted the form. No, no, sir. Uh, I, I checked already. The form is not in our possession. What do you mean? It's not. You never submit. Submitted. We are very on one. The form, if we if we get it, we will have it in our hand. We will do for you, Susie. Hello. Are you saying I'm a liar? Wait, uh, I show you the video tape of the 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 CCTV when you come that day. What video tape la? Uh, what? Show the tape to him please? You see, you see? You put the form in your bag. Oh. Yeah. Then after that, you went home and then you saw your wife, then you all had dinner, then you Okay, that's... Never mind about that part. I didn't know all that. Uh, no, never mind about that part. Uh, just your form must submit la. Uh. This time submit properly uh, or else cannot be Prime Minister. Thank you uh. And we are here outside Parliament House where new Prime Minister PM Jeff Lopez, who was elected despite not filling up a form correctly, has just arrived. He, he comes, here he comes. Prime Minister Lopez, Prime Minister Lopez. Uh, uh, what are you going to announce today in your press conference? Ah, uh, first of all, just call me Prime Minister Jeff Lopez. The man and his ideas. Oh uh, yes, uh, Prime Minister Jeff Lopez, the man and his ideas. What will you be announcing today? <laughs> well, my friend, you'll just have to wait and see, and hear. Yeah, thank you. Let's go. And now, here we are, live from the press room at Parliament House. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I have passed a bill in Parliament to abolish penalties for late submissions of government forms, as well as to abolish all penalty kicks in football. Questions, please. Uh, s uh, sorry, did the uh, Parliament really pass the bill? We didn't hear of it. Uh. Oh, uh, I passed it to someone in Parliament. I know I passed it to somebody. Got lah. Got passed ah. Hello? Oh, hi darling. Oh, I left my bag at home. Oh, I see. There was a bill in there? Oh, I see. Uh, darling, can, uh, can you drop it off on the way to work? Before noon? Cannot. Uh. Oh, like that. Uh. Oh. Okay then, never mind. Bye. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have bad news. I better go home and take the bag now. Yeah. Um, anyone seen my car keys? No one have trouble. Who said that? When your fly is down. What? Who's talking? <laughs> This is the persistently non-political podcast from The Mr. Brown Show. In today's episode, Jeff Lopez, the man and his ideas, goes for lunch. Hello, Anka. Hi, uh, Jaksimi. Uh, you have noodles? Of course, got noodles. I am the bar Tommy store. Okay, very well. Uh, one bar Tommy, please. Mi pot ta, my hiam. Me pota dry ah, the one chili ah. Yes. Anything else? Ah, uh, no, thank you. Okay. Nah, me pota my ham. Ah, uh, thank you. Ah, uh, wait, wait, hang on. This has two kwa in it. Yeah la, it's got two kwa liver one ma. But I said I didn't want two kwa. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't, and I can prove it to you, ah. Huh? Very well, prove it. Ah, okay. You come over here. I show you the CCTV camera of my store. The what? Nah. You see, you point to the mipa, then you say dry, then you point to the chili, then you say your head. You never say you don't want to have the tukwa. Oh, okay. How much is this then? Can see or not, huh? Can see that you never say don't want to huh? 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 It's okay, I really don't want to pursue the matter. How much is my bar for me? You agree or not? That you never say don't want to kwa. Can you tell me why you say you tell me you don't want to kwa when you didn't, huh? Look, can we move along now and let me eat? No, no, no. You explain to me first. Explain why? Explain why you say you tell me you don't want to kwa when you didn't say you don't want to kwa. What the? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, okay? Sorry, not enough. You must explain why. Explain why what? Explain why you say you tell me you don't want to go when you didn't say you don't want to go. Okay, fine. I'm sorry, okay? Please accept my sincere apologies if my actions caused distress or confusion to you, the bar me man. Look, it's only a few pieces of liver. Let's move on. Move on? Move on your sirang tower. Move on. My shop always here, okay? But sorry also must explain. Very well, I am so sorry. I am so sorry that I confused you, alright? Sorry also must explain. The Mr. Brown Show and the Persistently Non-Political Podcast is brought to you by MrBrown.com and Miyagi.sg with or without chili. Thank you. This is the Persistently Non-Political Podcast from the Mr. Brown Show. So should it be non-persistently -poli political podcast instead of what you put which is what? Persistently non-political podcast? Huh? Anna? But we are persistently non-political ma? 
No, but you are non persistently political, ma. No, but the government say cannot be persistently political content, so we persistently non political. Yeah, but non persistently political also can, ma. But different meaning, what? Then how? Maybe we should have a vote. Or discount. Depends, ah. How many you buying? Three. Okay, no lah. Five. I give you discount. Ask it. Uh, yeah. Uh, just just come forward. Thank you. Uh, bye. Let's take a picture. Come. Yeah, we stand closer. Then the picture looks nicer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Come forward. Uh, be muddy in front. But it's okay. Uh, come come. Uh, yeah. Uh, very run now. Chow chow run now. Ah, enjoy a bit, lah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. More good, more good years, ah. Ah, we, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we got better, better program. Ah, we got to go to the aircon room. Ah, uh, follow me to the bus. Thank you, ah. Sorry, ah. Sorry, ah. Sorry, ah. And now we read you headlines from Singapore's premier news service, SammyBoy.com Alfresco Coffee Shop. Oh, here's the intelligent question being asked on Sammy Boy Alfresco Coffee Shop. Can I bring loud hailer to a rally? <laughs> dear, dear reader, <laughs> yes, and we recommend taking your loud hailer to near a police car and on loud loud, preferably the volume is at 10, and shout all the things you want to shout. Remember, prison got no loud hailer. 第六课,什么风把你吹来? <笑> 你不投他们一票他猜啊没有啦要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要要
把你吹来。And so ends this bilingual edition of the persistently non-political podcast from the Mr. Brown Show. A Brown 嘅呢个节目系由 Mr. Brown dot com 同埋 Miyagi dot sg 联合制作。多谢，摆鱼裤啊！<笑>今日嘅节。Jeff Lopez, the man and his ideas, and his partner TK are trying to get a move on. Lah, ni bang, abe me lah. Don't hurry me. Wait, I forget to submit the form. And it's Jeff Lopez, the man and his ideas. Ah,、uh, whatever. After arriving in Singapore, teams must now travel to the 15th floor of a HDB flat that has not gotten its lift upgrading yet. In this roadblock. One team member will have to get off the lift on the fifth floor and make it the rest of the way by stairs and build lifts on every floor of that block of flats without using any additional funds. Oh, 别个一路上面放包。Yes, yes, I'm sure I did. Hey, Lopez, ah, this young boy got your idea. It's man and his ideas. Whatever lah. The last team to check in here may hear my co-host, Mr. Lim, say. Explain why you say you tell me you don't want to go when you didn't say you don't want to go. The Mr. Brown Show is a production of MrBrown.com and Miyagi.sg. Remember, the last team may get eliminated. This is the persistently non-political podcast number nine. Today's show features a dialogue between the elder Li and the younger Li, and also explores Chinese education for the young. Get quiet. Quiet. What's up, Mon? Say, say another word. What other words is there? What? What is it? Fan Guo. 国饭国，饭国。哎呦，为什么你的华语那么阿毛的？在家。Where do you see the ice cream? Yeah? That's not ice cream. That's a microphone. Oh. Mic. It's a mic. Mic. Yeah, it's for recording on the phone. That's a picture of a mic. That's not ice cream. Hey, <laughs> who's the parrot? Me. You okay? What does the parrot say? Eh, eh. Hmm. What does the duck? What does the duck say? Quack quack. Quack quack. What does the、uh, What does the dog say? Is it hoo hoo? Is it? What does the owl say? Oh, that's good. Uh, hey. Hoo. What does the lion say? Yeah. Wow. Ah.、Uh, Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, say 筷子。筷子。Say 饭锅。饭。饭锅。Say again, 饭锅。锅。饭锅。饭锅。Okay, sing me a song. Twinkle, 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 little star. Sing. Oh, why, why? Oh, very good! Yay. Yay! Okay, say, do you want to go? Go, go, go! 
Tư quả Tư quả Do you want Want Tư quả Tư quả <cười> Explain Explain Sorry also must explain Pain Sorry Sorry Also Also Must Must Explain Explain Yeah Yay. <laughs> okay. The Mr. Brown show is. No, you must say say to the mic. Closer, closer. Okay. The Mr. Brown show is brought to you by Mr. 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 Brown. Dot com. Dot com and Miyagi. Dot sg. Dot sg. Thank you. <laughs> I think you don't quit your day job. This is the persistently non-political podcast from the Mr. Brown Show. It is the day before polling day. The PMPP team goes out to the streets to do a random straw poll. Uh, must take bus, ah? Uh. Take taxi, no? Wait, uh, check where they got budget. Uh. Oh, okay. Take bus, lah. Uh. Okay. So today we are doing um, a legal pre-election poll. Correct, correct. Because today is the last day before the Saturday polling day, right? Tonight is Friday already. So we want to ask you some questions. Ah. Are you voting tomorrow? Yup. Okay, bye. <laughs> so uh, tomorrow, are you voting? <laughs> uh, are you voting tomorrow? No. Huh? <clears throat> no. Why? Because I'm a PR. Uh, why you don't become citizen, serve army, ma, do NS? Ma. <laughs> Yeah, what? Okay, okay, never mind then. So, since you're not voting tomorrow, what are you doing tomorrow on a Saturday now that you do have to vote? Go out for a movie. What movie are you watching? Mission Impossible 3. Good choice. Oh, yeah, one last thing. You like Ba Chow Mi, you know? <laughs> I don't like. That's how to be citizen. Okay, ask, ask Kai. Yes. Uh, <laughs> hey, can I say his name? <laughs> la? Don't worry, I won't tell the world that he's uh, air defense and he shouldn't be here, he's not supposed to book out. So, anyway. Private uh, Kai. Private guy, do, do you have to vote tomorrow? No, sir. Hey, don't no need to sir, la, you're not serving. La. Oh. Uh, so now that you don't have to vote tomorrow, what are you going to do tomorrow? Can't work. That's all. And maybe catch MI3. Mission Impossible 3 seems to be the election movie. Yeah. So would you vote for Tom Cruise? So, so your flat upgraded? I don't live in a flat. Oh, no, private house. Man. Say again. I don't live in a flat. Oh, that kind of. That kind of. Uh, yeah. Private property one. Uh. Private property. The other 20%. So election, no election, also yeah. no use one. Uh. Yeah, yeah, the kind. Do you have to vote? <laughs> don't need. Why don't you have to vote? Why well, not uh, 21 year? Why you are not 21 year? Why are you born so late? What's wrong with you? Huh? People should come out earlier. You must complain your mother. Why you never born me earlier, then I can vote? Ask this Xiao Kian. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Ask you the election question, eh? So tomorrow have no you have to problem. you have no erection problem, eh? No problem with my erection. Okay, thank you. Uh, show you, you see? Hey, don't show me, oi! <laughs> you see? No, don't point the mic there. No sound. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so you tomorrow have to vote, no? Yeah, you have to vote, lah. Uh. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, okay. Ask you, ask you. So, huh, what time are you going to vote? I vote for... Sentinel! Go Sentinel! Dota! Don't vote Scourge! Scourge always crawl around. No! You idiots! Sentinel, okay? More good leaves. So, tomorrow you have to vote? No? Uh, yep. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> uh, you don't have to vote tomorrow. You don't have to vote tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to smoke tomorrow because they say your vote is cigarette. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Who would you vote for? <laughs> uh, Terra, Terra. 
Ah, uh, why? Uh? Uh, because uh, I like his work. Uh. What's so good about his work? Yeah, the Nene very big. Yeah, that's not, not his Nene very big. He <laughs> draw the Nene very big. Yeah, he draw uh, the Nene very big. Okay, those things are very important. Yeah, yeah. Right? So cos- looks cosmetic issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, has your flat been upgraded? Yeah, just upgraded. Just upgraded only? Yeah, uh, actually, a few years ago. Uh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know where he lived, mm, like, Yeah, we know early this upgrade early, one, uh, early upgrade uh, one. Early upgrade one, yes. Uh, one of those early adopters. Uh. Uh, oh, anyway, the mi- million dollar question now. Do you like bar chow mi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. With or without liver? Uh, without. God, remember to tell the man you don't want liver. No? <laughs> yeah, of course. I have to. Once in a while, God forget. No, <laughs> no. no. Ah, very good, very good. Yeah. You sure? Uh, you never lie, yeah? Uh? <laughs> you lie. never lie, yeah? Uh? The Mr. Brown Show is brought to you by mrbrown.com and miyagi.sg Remember, vote wisely, vote carefully. Eh, hey, vote already, go away and eat, huh? Today in the persistently non-political podcast from The Mr. Brown Show, episode 11, we explore the pressures of the academic system in Singapore as students struggle to keep up their grades. Hey, you got your result yet? I got 66% eh? Yeah! 66%? Why are you so happy? 66% good what? Very good score eh? Huh? Last time 75% say very good score. Now 66% also say good score. But the teacher didn't say it was a good score. The teacher anyhow say one night. But I'm happy can already. Hey, you don't heard about George or not? Yeah, damn lucky. Pass, man. And then huh? My class got two people fail eh. Fail? Really ah? Yeah, I don't know how. They say got the best tuition teacher. Study very hard, still fail. Really ah? Yeah, some of their father say if they pass, they will get a PlayStation. Now, don't know whether still get or not. Then my class got the real do juice one leh. Then one kind man. Is it? Who is that leh? Leh, that one. Do group project anyhow, own self do, own thing, then project fail. Who group do friend him already? That one oh. Haha, <laughs> then his exam how? His exam ah? Wow, I must tell you ah. The fella never pay his school fees, still want to take exam. Then never take nah? Yeah lah, never take. But still make a lot of noise. Someone want his sister to take the exam for him. Huh? Haha. <laughs> then huh? You got heard about Jeff? Jeff Pass. No. Jeff? The one with many ideas? Nah, Jeff. He finished the exam already. Then never heard of the paper. Yeah, the teacher mark all finished already. And then asked him, how come he never heard of the paper? He said he had it already. Then how? Then she also la. And then now? Kana detention at the discipline master office some more. To prevent him. Is it? For what? Punish ah? Don't know la. Just to find out why he never hand up the paper law. Like that huh? He can take the exam again or not? Don't know la. Next exam must wait so long. Also don't know whether he want to take again or not. Maybe also they don't let him take ah. You know la. Exam is like that one. The Mr. Brown Show is a 100 upon 100 show and is a production of mrbrown.com and miyagi.sg. Yeah! Excellent. Okay. Golden Horse Award.